My name is April Yapenik and I'm here today with Sacred Drop Channel. And I'm here today to talk to you about some of the wine utensils that people tend to use. Some that are necessary, some that aren't. Um, some that are helpful and some that doesn't really matter if you have them or not. Um, in the end, it's all up to you what you'd like to have. In the end, what you really need is just a nice glass. A glass that has a nice base to it so that when you swirl it, um, it really helps you so you can smell the aromas in the nose and also so that it doesn't spill out. Um, there is an ISO certified glass that you can use for wine tasting, but it's not necessary. So really, depending on what type of wine you're going to drink, you can use any cup. But I personally use one cup for whites and for reds just because I don't want to complicate things. I don't want to have a million different glasses in my cupboard. So this is just a standard one. Um, another tool that is common is a wine opener. This is, I would say, necessary. Um, this one comes with a little knife at the top so that you can open up the top of the bottle. Um, you can see from this one, what you do is you basically take this around and then the top comes off. Now I did this previously, that's why it was quite easy to take off. But you just can peel this around and take off this. This makes it easier when you're trying to get to the, the cork so that you can open the bottle of wine. Another tool I like to use actually when once I open the bottle of wine is one of these round discs. Now this is kind of a no drip um, utensil. You round it like this and then what you do is you then stick it in. Now once it's in you can pour quite easily with it and you don't have to worry about the drips coming down the side. Um, I personally like it a lot better than having a piece of paper wrapped around here and some drips coming off. It depends on you. You don't need it, but it's nice to have. Another tool that uh, some people use, and I would say that is in particular uh, useful for older wines, uh, wines that have been aged um, in oak, um, French wines, Spanish wines, sometimes they need a little bit of decanting. Um, this is a tool that I like to use, and basically it's a decanter, a handheld one. Um, you can get ones that have an arm that basically holds it up so that it holds it above the cup. Basically what you do is you just pour the wine in, and what it does is it decants it, it aerates it. Decanting is just basically aerating it. Now you, people can use like a big glass thing to hold it in and decant it that way, but I don't feel like it's necessary. Again, it's not necessary to decant a wine, it's only if the wines are older and have been aged, and you in particular would like to have a little bit more uh, air in your wine. And the reason why you want air in your wine is because uh, it helps really bring out the smells. Um, when you smell it, when you swirl it, when you smell it, you'll smell a lot more um, once you've decanted a wine and also the taste will really open up in your mouth as well. Again, it's not necessary, but it's useful. Another tool that some people use and I would say um, isn't necessary is a temperature, uh, <laughs> little round temperature thing. Now I got this as a gift, um, somewhat of a gag gift as a joke, but also uh, it can be useful in particular when you're trying to figure out the temperature of white wines. Um, this one in particular has, has been labeled so that it can tell me what temperature um, my white wine should be, like if champagne should be at a certain temperature or if I have a dry sherry or um, a Chardonnay, it'll tell me the temperature that supposedly it should be at. Now, I don't find it particularly useful for red wines. White wines, I do. Um, but red wines, usually room temperature lower, around 17, 18 degrees Celsius, um, probably 75 degrees Fahrenheit, I would say. They're probably fine for red wines. White wines, you're going to obviously want them in the fridge, cold. Um, and then the, if you want this, you can use it, but it's not necessary. And that's it uh, for my wine utensils uh, tutorial. So thank you for joining me here today with the uh, Sacred Drop channel. I hope you'll uh, go out and try some more wines and uh, tell me how they taste. And if there's any other questions that you have or would like to see a little bit more of something, one thing or another, if you have questions about anything, please submit them to sacreddropseeker at gmail.com. That's sacreddropseeker at gmail.com. Thank you for joining me today.